Hey, what's up? This is Alpen here. Who doesn't want some fresh threads for summer? I feel like I've got to instill a couple of rules in myself when I buy stuff now. Things has got to fit into one or two categories, either one, super easy to wear, staple piece, you know you're gonna wear it all the time. Or two, more out there, kind of riskier things that maybe I wouldn't have felt super comfortable wearing a couple of years ago, but now don't care as much, frankly, what other people think, maybe a little bit more confident in what I wanna wear, stuff like that, um, and things which maybe can help bring out the best in those more basic pieces as well. This week is maybe focused more on the former, looking at that kind of summer staple pieces, things that you can wear all the time kind of thing, but there's a couple of more unusual bits thrown into the mix as well. Ultimately, we're talking more considered purchasing and getting a real handle on exactly what it is that you want before you go ahead and buy it. I tend to keep things in mind and save stuff for quite a significant period of time before I end up actually buying it often um, for exactly that reason. And that is where today's sponsor comes in handy, Karma, formerly ShopTagger. They've had a name change since they've added so much functionality over the last couple of years, designed to save you money and get you that good shopping Karma. So here's how it works. First thing you wanna be doing is install yourself that Karma browser button. You can do that through Chrome, super easy. It's a Chrome extension. If you've turned on a PC before, you can probably do it. And as soon as that's done, you can start using it. On supported retailers, of which there are rather a lot, you'll see that little Karma button pop up on the right-hand side. And when you're on a product page, you can use it to save that product. Not only does that mean you can get alerts via email or push notification if things come back in stock, but you can sort things into handy lists for easy browsing later and be a little bit more organized and a bit more thoughtful with your shopping big brain moments over here. If you're using Karma on desktop with that Chrome extension, you can automatically scan for coupons at the checkout, make sure you're getting those best deals. And if you wanted another way of saving money, supported retailers also have cashback enabled as well. And if it's stuff you were gonna buy anyway, free money is better than no free money, right? There's gonna be a link in the description for that free browser extension, so if you think that sounds helpful, then give it a go and see if you find it useful. Now it's time to take a look at some summer pickups, and we're gonna start off with a pretty big one, the acronym S24A. This definitely falls into the staple piece category, what could be easier to wear than an oversized black t-shirt. You got a couple of little details on here though, which is unusual for acronym, generally a brand that doesn't have any external branding on. You've got this uh, little logo with kind of product designation on the left arm, and then you've got a acronym logo to the back of the neck as well. Very Hitman Agent 47 vibes. It's hardly overboard, of course, but it's just enough to make it look like not just a plain black t-shirt. But of course, since this is acronym, it's anything but a plain black t-shirt. This is, of course, made with Shoal Dry Skin, a material that we will have seen a hundred times on this channel before, certainly one that acronym use a lot. This is a much lighter weight, though, than what you would see in most of their other stuff. So a bit more appropriate for a summer t-shirt. Gives it a unique structure and drape compared to a regular t-shirt and inherits all those good shoulder dry skin characteristics as well. So you're not gonna wear any wet t-shirt contests, but hey, if you spill anything down here, it's gonna roll right off and it's got that nice four-way stretch as well. This is also ridiculously long. I'm quite tall and only wearing a size M here, but that suits me just fine because it's long enough to make it look like an obviously oversized long line piece of clothing without it kind of being a knee length dress. The high cut split hem stops the t-shirt from sticking to your legs, which is quite common with this kind of long line stuff. And it also means you can still access pockets very easily as well. This is of course, being acronym, horrendously expensive, but uh, the fact that this is probably the only t-shirt that I'm gonna buy this summer or one of the only ones made me feel a little bit better about it. They do have a couple of different designs here. This is version A, there's a B and a C as well, which have slightly different graphics. A was my preference for sure. It did also come in a green variant as well, which I also really liked, but uh, I didn't want to go broke buying two of these t-shirts. Pickup number two that I'm particularly pleased with is this pair of Regards and the Viridian sunglasses. I've had this brand on my radar for a while. I think I've mentioned them in passing before. I think they represent a really cool intersection of form and function, and they've got some great unique designs out there. I really like the look of these, and while again, these are relatively expensive compared to an average pair of sunglasses, it's actually one of the cheaper Regards options, which for a collab is quite unusual. And um, yeah, they were one of my favorite looking pairs as well. That premium experience is pretty clear seeing these in person though. Not only does this come with so many different accessories, it's quite a fun little unboxing experience you get to do there, but also the craftsmanship, the overall feeling of quality that I get from these sunglasses relative to, you know, the Oakleys, the Balenciagas, all the other stuff that I've got. This definitely feels like a tier above. 
Even from a material perspective, these are made of silver and titanium, so there's that noticeable premium feeling there. And some of the other Regards options are made with all kinds of interesting materials. Since they're made in pretty small quantities, I also think there's some value in having something that, you know, other people are not really going to have. You're not going to see many people walking around with this exact pair. I also had in mind that in summer it's a little bit harder to put together cool looking outfits because you can't really do any layering or anything like that. And I do love wearing jackets and uh, in summer a lot of my fun wardrobe is cut out, let's be honest. So I feel like things like accessories have to do a bit more heavy lifting and something like this, which is very unique, very interesting looking, very attention grabbing, that's enough where you can wear a relatively plain outfit and still look kind of interesting just because of these. I also have to mention these are actually clip-ons, they have some very strong magnets in there so you can pull the front section off and uh, it's got its own little pouch where you can store that sunglasses section and very quickly convert these between sunglasses and regular glasses. It's gonna suit regular glasses wearers quite well because the clear part could of course be fitted with a prescription, although that would come at an extra cost. I'm just waiting for my eyes to degrade just that a little bit more and uh, then no doubt I will start needing glasses so I've already got a head start with these. That mechanism works super well though, it feels very cool to do and it's just another area where these feel like a tier above your average pair of sunglasses. Those two purchases alone really rinsed the summer budget but there was something that came in clutch on discount and this is exactly where something like Karma comes in handy. Um, I've had my eye on Rico and stuff in general for quite some time. I think it's something that could go very well with my style and these dark shadow shorts were on sale on end. There was a discount and a further 15% off code as well so I think I paid something like £170 for these which is pretty much the cheapest I I've ever seen a Rick Owens item like this. Yes, Dark Shadow is often significantly cheaper than the mainline stuff, but nevertheless, it's a pretty good price for Rick Owens. These in particular I thought made a great entry point into the brand because although they are clearly not a regular pair of shorts, they have this extremely dropped Sarowell style uh, design and yeah it's very very Rick Owens there's no getting around that at the same time you can just chuck on a pretty regular t-shirt you're instantly looking super cozy you don't need to work too hard to style these the color as well this is something Rick Owens called putty um, I think is very nice again it's very typical of Rick Owens but I thought it would be nice to have something that's a little bit more summery than black a nice neutral color it's going to go well with a bunch of stuff 100% cotton as well very lightweight feeling very stretchy just extremely cozy I could see my myself lying around the house all basically all summer in these. If you are interested in Rick Owens, definitely look at Dark Shadow first. As I mentioned, not only is it cheaper, but they tend to have a little bit more of a conventional focus, I suppose. It's a little bit more streetwear inspired, and there's a lot less of the more experimental, avant-garde type stuff you would associate with Rick Owens' mainline. So it does make a very nice jumping off point. I've heard people say as well that Rick Owens is relatively hard to style, or that you need to put in loads of work or become a full Rick disciple in order to wear this stuff. But honestly, I think a lot of the dark shadow things just feel like regular kind of streetwear staple pieces but dunked in Rick juice. It's a brand I'll be coming back to for sure, so who knows, maybe this will turn into a Rick Owens review channel. There's been a few things that a few different brands have sent me though, which I will also be wearing pretty frequently over the summer. Outlier is the first of those. Uh, more recently, they sent me a couple of different t-shirts, the Outlier logo tee and the raw cut long sleeve dream weight tee as well. Both of these I think are great staple pieces, but differ in pretty much every way. The logo tee is quite unusual for Outlier. They're a brand that have pretty much defined themselves over having no external branding, but well, here we are. But of course, they've taken a bit of an unconventional approach with this. This is a reverse stitched logo, so it has this kind of slightly faded, distressed kind of appearance to it. They've used a real heavyweight cotton too, which although isn't particularly soft, feels super hard wearing. It has this kind of bomb proof, this has been around for years and it will last years more kind of feeling to it. If I was going to be concerned about damaging any of my more fragile t-shirts like the merino stuff that Outlier are perhaps more famous for doing, I would definitely wear this instead because I just feel like it ain't going to fall apart. That also gives it some structure, which combined with the slightly oversized, more boxy fit, gives this a real relaxed, kind of vintage look, exactly the kind of thing that I would want to be wearing in a very casual scenario. 
like sitting in my room in front of a camera, for example. I also used this t-shirt in a TikTok video going over a few different cargo pant based outfits and the one with the outlier tee was the one that most people liked. So there you go, the public have already spoken. And then we move on to the Dreamway Raw Cut Long Sleeve t-shirt. I think that's the right order. Very, very different in pretty much every way. Using this merino nylon blend gives it a very lightweight feel, very open structure. So it's real nice and breathable from that material perspective, perfect for warmer weather. It's more delicate feeling too, and it's got a much slimmer cut, so visually it's pretty different as well. Outlier suggests this is the kind of thing that you could either wear by itself, in warm weather of course, or as a bit of a layering piece when it's a bit cooler, and I definitely agree with that. I think because of that lightweight, because of its breathability, it's perfect for a whole bunch of different scenarios, frankly. But while this isn't one of Outlier's experiments products, it feels like one of their more fashion-forward offerings. The slim cut, the raw finish, gives it that kind of slightly stressed, carefree edge to it. Look at the sleeves as well. These are super long, so you can either cut them to your preferred length, or you can leave them. Um, I've done the latter, and what that means is you can get this really cool stacking effect going up the arm. And because the arms are quite slim, they kind of hold there fairly well. It gives you an almost bandage look, and again, differentiates it from a standard long sleeve tee. I think looking at this, that extended length, both on the arms and the body, and the slim cut, it makes it look more like a Rick Owens piece than a traditional outlier one. That's particularly cool considering this retailed at something like $120, so I feel like you're getting quite a lot from the interesting cut to the cool sleeve details that you can do what you like with to that great merino and nylon blend material which feels super comfy to wear and yeah, great summer material. And one final thing, I got a cool little package from Shell Soul because I mentioned them in a video a couple of months ago about different retailers that you could look at. Um, and yeah, they said kind of, oh, thanks for that, we're gonna send you some socks. And uh, yeah, they sent me a lot of different pairs of socks from a Taiwan brand called Nozzle Quiz, which is possibly the strangest name that I've heard in quite some time, but there you go. One of the coolest designs is this variant with these reversed seams going up the sides and kind of, they zigzag around like fault lines or something, which is quite interesting. It's it's uh, exactly the kind of thing that could look quite cool with some uh, sliders or sandals or you know cropped pants something like that so you can really show these off a bit. I thought that these would be a bit weird to wear with shoes um, but you don't actually notice those seams at all. It's a kind of fun look you can't really get it elsewhere and you can never have enough socks let's be honest. Um, I've got pretty big feet I'm a UK 11 and these do only come in one size so uh, these are definitely a little bit on the small side for me but if you've got smaller feet than me which you probably do then uh, these will probably be fine. And those are my recent summer pickups they're a little bit on the safer side in general and uh, but if anything that just means that I'm going to be getting a lot of use out of all of these things over the course of the summer and of course any future things will be covered in more videos coming up I've got some cool stuff on the way from some interesting brands which I think from a techwear perspective you guys are definitely going to like so I'm excited to get some of that stuff out there thanks again to Karma for sponsoring the video shopping assistant link in the description go and check it out if you think it sounds cool and that's everything from me so thank you so much for watching the video if you enjoyed it please do give it a like because yes that is of course as always super helpful if you had a particular favorite definitely let me know because uh yeah it influences the kind of stuff that we feature on the channel a little bit more if you think rick owens looks super cool then um yeah i guess maybe it's going to be rick owens pickup season who knows and that's quite enough of me thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next one Shout out to Tekfuku, very good spot on the Jordan 1 swooshless, I didn't think anyone would recognise those honestly, they came out like 4 or 5 years ago I think, um, but yeah I think they're kind of an underrated shoe, I think they're quite cool. And shout out to Christian Seymour, definitely think DIY tech wear is a great way to go, I've seen people have really good successes making their own belts, even bags, customising pants, things like that to give them a different fit, so yeah there's lots that can be done in that area. My practical skills are pretty awful, but I think some of that stuff is probably even easy enough for me to do. So if I can do it, you guys definitely can. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. If you want to catch some more, there's going to be links going up at the top. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't know what you're playing at, frankly, but there's going to be more videos coming out in the future. So definitely consider hitting that button. Become part of the, uh, well, we never really named the This Is Antoine YouTube channel fan base, but uh, you, can, you can join us and you can watch these cool videos every week where we talk about all kinds of different brands, technical clothing, and all that other fun stuff. So um, yeah, that's the pitch over. And I'll see you next week.